encouragement. It ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit, but keep moving forward. This is the Italian stallion. See the one I leave Philly and come to RVA. I always check out my man, Mike King Biz, on ESPN, 5, 7 a.m. The champ of business toy radio, Ep, the man. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to On the Mic with Mike. Mike King here. This is part of the Mike King Biz Media Network, which is ESPN Rich 106.1. Uh, International Business Group Radio, Saturdays, 10 a.m. Eastern, as well as the Hounds of Business Community. That is a worldwide business community uh, offering uh, tips and, and information from thought leaders from around the globe. Uh, what we do is we talk to thought leaders who are out making a difference in the community. To follow us on our social platforms, you can reach me on, on the mic with Mike Garfield, as well as Mike King Biz. Hey, you know what time it is? So, big things are happening here in RVA. Big things are happening. I got El Presidente in the house. Karen Webb of the world-famous Chesterfield Chamber of Commerce is here. Welcome to the program, ma'am. Thank you, sir. We're, now we're, we're, this is unusual for us. Yes. It, it, because normally we don't have uh, a throng of people in the studio. Correct. No, we but this usually is, don't have a table. But we, we do not. Enough. This is something new because this is something big. Right. There was some scuttlebutt in the street, and then I heard what you were doing, and I'm like, this sounds great to me. Let's put it together. So, Karen Webb, tell us who you are and what you do. I am the cha uh, the president of the Chesterfield Chamber of Commerce. Um, that is Chesterfield, Virginia. Yes, Chesterfield, to be clear. Missouri. Not yes. Or any of the other <laughs> Chesterfield, Virginia. I only got three calls yesterday for Chesterfield, That's Missouri. That's crazy. So, yeah, they, they want to join those. But then, I mean, it helps that Jonathan walked into the Chesterfield, Missouri Chamber. <laughs> and, okay, sir, yes. All right, so Chesterfield Chamber of Commerce, the best chamber. Uh, you can find your opportunities for sponsorship. A lot of great things happening in Chesterfield Chamber. Word on the street that there was a program that was out again, and we talked about how different it is when Richmond and Chesterfield start getting included into big right. things that are happening. Right. right. Okay, so I'm going to let you. Oh, oh, can I get my. Uh, so, oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. So, uh, also in studio with, with us is Christy Fox. Welcome to the program, ma'am. Thank you for having me. And the organization that you represent is? Comcast. Comcast. So, folks, that's why I played Rocky, because Comcast, for those who don't know, is a Philadelphia organization. It is our roots, so that's why I'm rocking all of my that's Philadelphia why. sports teams. I am wearing a hoodie when it's 90 degrees, <laughs> and my wife wondered if it was a lunatic. <laughs> no, Comcast is coming. So, ma'am, you're not here talking about Comcast TV and the programming. This is a business show. Yes. So tell folks who you are and what you do and why you're here. All right. I'm Christy Fox. I'm the Vice President of Communications for Comcast Beltway Region. And I'm here today to talk about a small business grant program called Comcast Rise. Okay. And so Comcast Rise. So explain to our listeners and viewers what exactly Comcast Rise is. I know. Karen knows. It's exciting. So Comcast RISE stands for Representation, Investment, Strength, and Empowerment, and it's a program we launched in late 2020 to help small businesses survive the pandemic. Over the past several years, the program has evolved, and now it's really focused on helping small businesses across the country really thrive and grow. Okay, and uh, so the cities that are in Richard made to cut this kind of kind of cool, uh, you know, the group that Richmond is in. What are some of the other cities that are involved this year? So in addition to Richmond, it's five cities total. So it's Atlanta, Houston, Jacksonville, and Colorado Springs. Okay. How do you determine the, the cities that are going to make it in a year? So, you know, there's a lot that goes into that. When this program first started, it was actually nationwide, and it could be small businesses within our Comcast footprint. Um, but we didn't specify the, the geographical area. As the programs evolved, the grant package has also evolved, and so we decided to really focus in on five cities every year. Um, and really what we're looking at are, you know, there's a big focus on small businesses that have a commitment to, to diversity, equity, and inclusion, and community investment. So uh, you didn't know this, but certain friends of mine have are distinguished alum winners of this program. They are. Oh, fantastic. I know some people. You do. Yes. Also, Danielle Gilbert, she is my HR expert. She was one of the winners. Awesome. Vanessa Terry is another. She's a, she's a lady who does, uh, she's a notary. Okay. She's a notary person, and she won. 
and then Joy Joy Bell. So those are people who are who are winners of the program. They understand what it means to be part of this right here. Karen, let's talk about what it means for the chamber to be involved in this. It, it's an amazing opportunity for all of our businesses, and as everybody knows that. The Chesterfield Chamber especially um, it has more of a membership of small businesses. And so this is an opportunity that we can partner with Comcast on to help support the, the RISE program and encourage our businesses to apply for the grants um, and then celebrate with them once they do get the grants because it's going to be quite a year um, for them after the grants are awarded. So it, it, today's a kickoff today, correct? Yes. Okay, one second here. We spare no expenses around here, ma'am. We do not. This is straight out of the five and below store. But shout out to my granddaughter, uh, who, who who makes that happen. Okay, today is the kickoff. Folks have thirty until the end of the month. Correct. How many times do people look up and say, "Oh man, I wish I had known"? Mm -hmm. A lot of times. Mm -hmm. Well, we're here today to tell them get in on the program. Where do they go to apply? So it's really simple, ComcastRise.com. Okay. Um, the application opens today, and it will stay open through um, the end of the month. Um, and it's a really, you know, we put a lot into making it a simple and fast application. So that's, you know, part, a, a lot of what went into creating the application as well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, listen to On the Mic, you're in Mike King. This, hey, the Mike King Best Studio is on fire today. So uh, next to me, who can, you can see, uh, but they're going to come in a little later. Yeah, Anna Soda and the RVA uh, connectors here. Adriana Duarte of uh, uh, Toda Latino fame. Toda, Toda Latino. What? Adriana. Adriana. Thank you. Excuse me. Uh, what did I say? Adriana. I'm from like, Philly. I'm sorry. Like so I, much. Hey, yo, Adriana. <laughs> yes, I, I should not have played that before we got started. What is it again? Adriana. You, okay, that's good because you're, you're like Italian. That. So, yes, that, that helps. Adriana. Adriana. Good. Thank you. You got to do this. Adriana. Uh, yes, that, uh, yes. And she will answer the A. <laughs> yes. I just call her Jersey. Yeah, I Which makes it a lot easier. <laughs> and we also have Philip Noel is in the house. He is the marketing guru. We have Michelle Rollins is in another studio. We got folks who are coming in because this is a big thing that the community needs to know about. We're out here to tell a story about Rye. So, uh, Christy, people join, the, 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 they apply. What do the winners get? And, and how many winners are there? Yeah. So we will be awarding 100 small businesses in the greater Richmond area, and that includes Ashland, Charles City, Chesterfield, Hanover, Henrico, Petersburg, and Richmond. So they have to be based, and there are specific zip codes, uh, but those are the, the areas where the business has to be based. Um, and we will be awarding 100 small businesses in August. So they have to apply this month, we'll award in August, and all 100 recipients will get um, one year of, we call it a technology makeover, but one year of internet security and homes and security and phone products in addition to equipment. A 60 second, uh, a 30 second commercial that runs for six months, TV commercial, um, $5,000 grant, and then educational resources and consulting services. So it's a very comprehensive grant. People don't understand what the power of the media is. The, uh, the money is great, the technology is great, People seeing you on Comcast for six months is a very big deal. If you're on TV, and I tell people this all the time, uh, a friend of ours is coming to Wanda. So we were on uh, when I did the American Heart, uh, raise money for American Heart. We went on to NBC 12. If you're on there at noon, 30 or 40 people see you and say, man, you were great. I saw you on TV. 10,000 people or so saw you who you had never seen before, and they had never seen you. So they are interested in what you do. So this is a comprehensive package out there. So uh, Karen, for you, let's talk about how that fits in with the uh, Chesterfield Chamber. Well, as I said, we most of our membership, or probably about two thirds of our membership, is small businesses, um, and we're always looking for a way to support small businesses and help them to grow and help them to realize their potential and grow even bigger. Um, because we'd like to have our two-person small businesses come up to about a 50-person yes. small business as we, as we go. And programs like Comcast Rise are integral to what we're doing um, in our education platform um, and in our support pro, uh, platform for all of our businesses. 
So on the mic, Mike, the, the studio is filling up. <clears throat> Brooke Hall just came in. Hey, hey, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? This, uh, I'm good. This is a madhouse called the uh, Mike King Biz Studio. So we are here. So you get money, equipment, and media exposure. All things that organizations can, can really use. And Comcast is provided. Let's talk about the part of the diversity inclusion, why that's important for Comcast to, to recognize that. Yeah, so uh, diversity, equity, inclusion are a key part of our culture, um, going back to you know our founder, Ralph Roberts. Um, oh, that's a person, really? It's a real I person. I didn't know. <laughs> it's a real person. Well. <laughs> and his, his son is now the um, CEO of, of Comcast. Um, so family-run company, very family-focused culture, um, and that's just a key part of who we are, and investing in the community is a really integral part of who we are as a company. Being from Philly, I, you know, shout out. Comcast really has been on the forefront of helping organizations in Philly forever. Comcast has always been that one, and that's, that's what we do here. So it is the application process starts uh, today and it runs to the end of the month. Well, all right, folks, so that's what you do. That's what we're doing here. Uh, Karen Webb, the Chesterfield Chamber, how can people get information out about the chamber? Chamber, um, our website is chesterfieldchamber.com, and it has just about a, a list of all of our services and our educational programs and what we can um, be, what we can have access, as well as it has articles on how we're celebrating our businesses with their accomplishments and what they're doing. The RISE program, it stands for again? Representation, Investment, Strength, and Empowerment. Yeah. So, Ladies and gentlemen, oh no! We got you out of nowhere. Oh wait a second, the one and only Joy B. Moore is here. Well, welcome back. Thank you. I haven't seen you forever. Oh, I know. It's been like a whole thirty seconds. All right, so here, all right, so we got to move some things on the mic, Mike. Here, let me. Oh no. Uh, wait, let me take this around. Could you guys pass this? I can stand. I'm good. Uh, <laughs> of course. I am good. She's running so much. She didn't even see that she was coming today. I didn't. One of the things about being kind of our size, which is, you know, on a shorter side, <laughs> like me, I didn't know that you. I didn't see you when That's you came. Okay. It's okay. She snuck I, in down here. I saw Karen. <laughs> Okay, I saw My Karen. My goal is not to disrupt. <laughs> Let's see if you brought Luke and Lenny in then. I know. Yeah, yeah. Luke and Lenny is in Colorado. Uh, my sister's first grandbaby's being born. Aww. My sister plays the brand character Luke and Lenny. Because if you ain't had your bears, baby, you ain't had any. <laughs> but she does it so much better than <laughs> Luke and Lenny is. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, rise winner. Everybody knows yes. uh, Joy B. Moore. Yeah. Joy Bells. How you doing, ma'am? I am great. How are so you? So we're, we're adding to the studio. It is a madhouse. <laughs> <laughs> For people who don't know, we got Anna Sos and Brooke Hall is here. Adriana Dwarf. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and we have Jawanda is here. Uh, Philip, And we also have Michelle Rollins is in the other studio. On the mic with Mike. This is where the magic happens. Mike King Biz, on the mic with Mike, Richmond's premier business radio platform. Make it move, make it move, Judge, how you judge it, say we going corporate. Nah, we just corner boys with the corner office. I'm at the cap table, what the splits is? Not that cap table, boy, we live this. Promoting how business can make the community better. No one does it better than Mike King Biz. On the mic with Mike. Check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to On the Mic with Mike. Mike King here. Joy Moore is in, in the building. She is she's the pie lady. And we always ask you, you became a pie lady when the, when the homeless guy said, hey, you're the pie lady. Yeah. Yes, you are. All right, so tell us who you are, experience. what you what you do and who you are. I'm Joy B. Moore, CEO and founder of Joy Bells, home of that Southern Backwoods Country Delicious. <laughs> Joy Bell. All right, Delicious. she is here. And where can your product be found at, ma'am? Everywhere, but still. Yes, yeah, Sam's Club, Food Lion, Kroger, uh, QVC Network, where I get to be the on-brand host. 
and we are onboarding with Costco now, so you'll be able to get it in Costco. So, so and you were the winner of one of the winners. Oh, okay, go ahead. Yes, the, the Comcast Rise, honey. Yes, let me tell you. Um, I won, and it made it was the pivotal, impactful thing that happened that year during our launch um, into Food Lion. Uh, local business, I mean, local goodness program. And I saw the grant and I was like, wow, this would be great if I could win this, but I didn't truly understand what the impact would be. Um, we were getting um, messages. I saw you on TV. You have a commercial. I'm like, girl, yes, Comcast Rise. I, I won uh, the grant through them. And uh, our commercial ran through the whole RBA Tri-City area. I mean, instant proof or proof is what that um, commercial gave us being on TV and, that, and it, it, it made all the difference. From there, we, it made us so visible is when Sam's Club found it. So, I mean, it was everything to us and our launch. There you go. That's how. If you, if you out there listening, um, entrepreneurs, I'm telling you, it is not a waste of time to fill out this application. Yes, it's going to be a little piece of a lift because you know Joe ain't going to lie to you. You're going to miss one that told you. But <laughs> it is worth it. I'm telling you, take the time. And it's not that hard. And when you're looking at it, and if it looks complicated, write your story out, right, from the beginning to where you currently are. And then when you look in that application, you go back and you grab buckets from your story, and that becomes your application. So it, it, it sounds wordy when they ask you the question, but really all they're asking you to do is tell your story. So just figure out where your story fits in those buckets and have your numbers, and you'll be good. Do it. Well, the mic, the mic, uh, Joy B. Moore out there evangelizing. <laughs> that she's up there. She's the Pied Piper of, of doing good. Talk a little bit, so now she is an example of what you're talking about. There's somebody, there are 100 people in this year whose business lives are going to change because of this. Mm -hmm. That's the program. Yep. How can people find that information once again? So ComcastRise.com, and in terms of eligibility, because that isn't something that I've shared yet. Okay, here we go. I think that's really important. Um, the business has to be independently owned. Um, in business for three years and under 100 or fewer employees. So that's the general um, eligibility. And if you go to ComcastRise.com, um, you can click on the application starting today. Because that's a, that's a broad range. There's a mm -hmm. big difference between two and 100. Mm -hmm. 100 needs it, but two needs it as well. They all need the help and support. Joy, what do you think was the most important one that was the most helpful? Was it the money, the equipment, or the media exposure? Um, for me, it was the media exposure. Um, the internet is a powerful place for business owners and entrepreneurs. Um, and it made all of the difference. So the media between uh, television and the cable networks, and then social media, what we were able to do to leverage from that into social media, I mean, it, it can it can it can mean the difference between um, six months worth of uh, marketing work in the beginning of your startup, where it for us it happened in 30 days or less once the commercial um, started running. And um, uh, again, and then I want to say for anyone who wants to ask me any questions about filling out their application, just email me at info at joybells.com, and I'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. That's how important I think the grant is. And I, I think I will be doing my part uh, for those who don't have any exposure to previous grant writing. I was fortunate enough to learn that in my previous nonprofit in the position I didn't want to be moved into. <laughs> Thank you, Lord! <laughs> you know, so, but yes. All right, so, uh, and there, there was, a, so when I when you thought about that, it is Comcast Rise. You're out there making a difference. And you had said, right to you. When you were here last time, we had the, the young popcorn. The king of popcorn oh. was here. <laughs> he was here. You know, and a nine, ten year old kid who has a popcorn business. When Joy Moore puts a, you know, puts the blast on saying, hey, take a look at this, the exposure for this kid goes up. That's, that's, that's the way it is. And when you said, right to you at info, you believe in writing and answering people. Yes. 
You okay? Let's go over that once again because how important that is. When somebody mentions you, writes to you, comments on social media, mm -hmm. you write back. Oh, Don't yes. respond. If if as busy as it is to the in today's world, and and if someone takes the time to actually stop in their feed and pay attention and comment, we're gonna hit you back. Uh, we had a um, reel that went viral, over four hundred and forty something thousand views. We had ten thousand comments. And we responded to every last thing. How do you one. how do you comment and respond? Out? What were y'all doing? Oh, my sister, I mean, my sister and my daughter, my cousin jumped in. I mean, we just all worked together, and sat in a room together, and comment. That's the way business is done. That's the way good business is done. Karen Webb, uh, we are here, so we're putting that the challenge together. Well, I'm really riding on the coattails of the Chambers of Field Chambers. And that's what it that's what it comes down to. Okay, so for the chamber, chamber members, we're out there letting them know this is an important, this is a good thing. Right, absolutely. Um, and we're supporting it 110,000%. Um, we, we believe in this program so much. Um, and I think that even if you don't get the grant, the process of going through the application process yes. and the grant writing that you yes. have to do, even as small as it is, is a very valuable learning tool and a very valuable lesson that will carry you into other things. So there is no downside mm -hmm. to any part of this program at all. And we are here to help um, when it comes to, just like Joy said, if you've got questions, you can contact us and we'll even uh, have you come into the office and we'll sit down and hold your hand and help, help you write. And so. she is not, she's not lying, right. she's not exaggerating. Um, I was just fortunate enough to have some insight, but they were there for every step of the way. Any questions? What was the best place to blast my winnings? You know, all of that. I mean, they were very helpful. And yes, please contact them. They will walk you through whatever you need. But if you have any grant writing questions, you are welcome to reach out. What's new? What's new and exciting with with your company? What, you, you always got some. I don't know. I already told oh, you. Oh, okay. I'm that but I have some. Ex <laughs> Wait, wait, wait a second. You had some news the last time. And you, I still you can't tell you. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'll tell this you guys off the air, but it's, 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 it can't be. Nice it can't, it's too hot to, to tell it, girl. You know, no, seriously, I can't share it publicly. But yeah. that's good. Yes. That means it's good. Yes. It's, 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 what my, what's the tagline? Yes. It's, yes. it's that good. good. <laughs> <laughs> it is that good. Okay, so we're here. Uh, it is Comcast Rise program it kicks off today it runs until the end of the month and the winners will be announced in august in august at comcast rise and they will get ma'am what do they get they will get a five thousand dollar monetary grant a technology makeover over which includes a year of internet and other technology products um, a tv commercial uh, that will run for six months um, in addition to educational resources and consulting services if needed to help figure out how to build a business plan there you go. All right, so one of my good mic, uh, I invited my friends over, and they didn't know what they were coming for. They had no idea what this was. So what do I need to wear? What do I need? No, just come here. What we're going to do is, uh, all right, uh, really quickly. So, Karen, can you slide out? Thank you very much. One second. You're not going to go anywhere. We're going to have some people jump in. Nope, nope, nope. Hey, hey Deliana. Oh, Karen, Deliana. Come on in. You might turn So on. you're going to talk a little bit about, she is from the... so yes, I have a radio show as well. I like I said I it was pretty much founded here with my team there and this is awesome. This is so awesome, Thank you. especially for the Latino community who, you know, with the language barrier, they don't really know what's going on. So, uh, so let's let's go ahead and let's talk about that. Yeah. So, otra vez, um, cuenta a little bit. Tell us about like the grant. That what is it that we're we're here for? So we are launching. Uh, we're bringing five hundred thousand dollars in monetary grants alone to the Richmond area. Mm -hmm. um, there will be one hundred businesses who will be selected to win a, a monetary grant of five thousand dollars. TV commercial, technology services, and then 
educational and consulting resources. Los están dando dinero, tienen 500 mil dólares que están dando para negocios y están ayudando, están dando dinero para eso, están ayudando con propagandas, con ayudando para conseguir más dinero con los bancos y wow, that's amazing. Es un para las personas que están empezando negocios, that's amazing. That's really, really great. And uh, so how can they, how can they sign up for that? So ComcastRise.com, um, go to the site. Um, they'll be starting today. There's a link there, apply today. Um, you know, we really put a lot into making it a simple and easy application. The application is in English, but we have a lot of resources in multiple languages gotcha. um, in terms of just understanding what, what's involved and walking through kind of the application. We will also be at a number of community events across the Richmond area over the next month, including okay. the Cape Asa Festival. Okay, awesome. Yeah, we'll be there too as okay. well with all Latinos, so that'd be amazing. We'll come over and hang out with you guys too. Okay, spread the word. Um, so what's the website again one more time? I'm sorry. ComcastRise.com. So eh, para poder aplicar, tienen que ir a ComcastRise.com. Uh, de ahí pueden, hay un botón que dice aplicar acá. Aplican ahí y pueden empezar el proceso. Ellos también van a estar en el festival de ¿Qué pasa este sábado? Se nos olviden estar ahí, que empieza a las 12 de la tarde. Ladies and gentlemen, I agree 100% with the Asian Americans. 100%. Yes. I agree. 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 You can swim. All right, Brooke Hall is here. So uh, this is the RISE program. You have stepped in. Your business owner, talk about your business. And then talk about what this means, your idea of it. So, yes. So I own a couple of recruiting companies, one being Accent Professional Recruiting, the other being Sales Recruiters of Virginia. And we just started a new one called Silver Recruiting of Virginia, which helps uh, people over the age of 65 re-enter the workforce. Oh, I'm glad. <laughs> It's not I'm knocking on heaven's door. <laughs> 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 exactly. so, so, yeah, I mean, you know, we've found a lot of people have, it's actually a business partner of mine who is maybe in the singer community. I promise not to divulge his age, so I won't <laughs> say it here on the air. But he really found a need. I mean, he also retired. I bought his company, Sales Recruiters of Virginia, back in January of last year. And then he came to me with a business plan. He said, I'm really bored and, you know, I'd like some extra money. And, so he gave me this business plan, and so I own two companies 100%, and then this one will be a uh, little well, partner with him. In. So we recruit nationally for from primarily sales, marketing, and then C level management, but we do a lot of other things as well, which is pretty interesting. So this program, um, like you said, it is for uh, minorities, women, mm -hmm. out there with specific ideas. Very quickly, what was it again? The under marginalized. So uh, we are. Uh, Thank y'all, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just thought I forgot to turn that on. So who is it geared to the program? So it's really, right now, it, this program is open to all small business okay. owners. Um, when we initially started it several years ago, we did focus on people of color owned businesses. It evolved to women owned businesses. And now it's open to all small business owners, um, you know, with the eligibility that I mentioned in terms of, you know, independently owned, in business for three years, and then under 100. There you go. Recall, how can we find information about your company? You get best place is accentrecruit.com. There you and, go. Yep, all of the information is there about what we do. Mm. And I think right. what you're doing is awesome. Thank I just you. already looked up the application. All right. All right. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So next up we have uh, Michelle Rollins is here. She is a fundraiser. And one of the things we always talk about from a fundraising perspective is how business and organizations really need that. And she knows. One of the reasons why these people are here, they know a bunch of people. And we want to get the word out to people about what this operation, what this program means. Joy B. Moore has told us about it from her perspective. Really quickly, uh, the grant starts today, and she is a grant writer, so that's what's the big part. All right, it starts today running to the end of the month. Correct. $5,000, equipment, and my favorite, the media, media exposure. All right, Michelle Rollins, the floor is yours. Tell folks who you are. Um, I'm Michelle Rollins. I'm a fundraising professional and grant writer. Um, I've been in the nonprofit field for over 20 years. Um, I've been in many different organizations. I'm also a veteran and military spouse. I'm also on the board of directors at Fort Bragg Adams for the Holiday Helper Association. I was in a long time. I'm all about connecting and finding opportunity and scholarships and education. My oldest uh, just got into West Point. There you go. Oh, nice. There you and go. I'm just leaving. Uh, but my biggest thing is the scholarships because before I did 
nonprofits for a living, and I worked in education after I got out of the military. And um, scholarship for opportunity, my oldest got scholarships and started to bring this town cash, cash scholarships. And we didn't have to pay for the first year what? of college. I mean, just, uh, we we so. He's 18. He's um, in December. Um, so I know the power of what you're doing and how much it's going to have an impact on our younger generation. So amazing. And I know how important these grants are and the funding opportunities and the research and the time it takes and then the time to do the applications. The scholarship, those are very <laughs> lengthy, but worth it. Worth it. There you go, Michelle Rollins. Yeah. How can people find you out there? Um, so I'm on LinkedIn. You just find me, Michelle Rollins. My last name's R O L L I N S. I just say that because all people put a W in it. I'm also <laughs> on Facebook and Instagram. I am working on getting a website. So and stay she tuned. is our fundraising expert. <laughs> last but not least, we got our good friend Joanna Smith is here. She is here with us. Uh, we've done TV together. And one of the cool parts that I do with Joanna, she is a beauty queen. And so when we go to the studio, I say to her, Wear your tiara because tiara. what is it? Tiara. Crown. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Mike was supposed to say, no, she did. <laughs> <laughs> she did. Some friends who I had. Uh, yeah. All right, so Joanna's here with us. And they did exactly like I thought. They asked her about the headgear. And then I didn't have to talk to them anymore. Joanna, really quickly. So now you heard what this program is the Comcast Rise. She didn't know, like anybody didn't know, like Mike, what are you what are we what are we coming here today for? Because this is big. This is big. So Joanne did a floor joint. Tell very quickly who you are. Phenomenal afternoon, everyone. I am Joanne with Let's Go Right Events, where we're executing excellence on your behalf. And our job is to make you relevant to all the clients that you want to connect to that you have it. And we use events as a mobile to do that. And I'm also your Miss Exquisite full figure, DMV, DC, Maryland, and Virginia. <laughs> Queen 2023, and I'll be going to Nationals and bringing home to Richmond. Awesome. National Crown. I don't tell that for people who have been to my events and they think they're pretty good. No, they're they're really good. They're amazing. They're, they're, they're phenomenal. Juwan, Juwan, Juwan is the one who makes that happen. So, uh, and she knows. Uh, when we go right back to knowing people. We talk about the amount of people who can benefit from this program. From now on, their people are going to know about this for the next 30 days. We're going to bring the word out to the people because it can have an impact. A hundred people, that's a pretty good shot for you to, to win. Like I said, shout out to your winner. Yes, Danielle Gilbert's a winner. It Vanessa Terry's a winner. All right, cool. Appreciate it. Thank you. How can we get information out about you? You can reach me on all social media. You're Wanda up. Smith. Let's do a right events.com as well. Yes. And I'm definitely going to be shouting it up everywhere because I was following you guys and watching as I was on my way into the studio. And I heard that they're doing Richmond and Atlanta. And I'm in both networks. Oh, Thank awesome. You. Okay. A, Thank all right. You. Uh, next up is uh, the shy one of the bunch. <laughs> <laughs> the good friend, Anna Sodin. So Anna Sodin is a publisher yes. of... Uh, she can be a So what I would love to do is, after the winners are announced, I'd love to do a piece in... The, had I known beforehand, we would have done something in my magazine to sort of bring back to the community as well, too. So, yeah, so I have two community magazines. So here we go. So folks. So I've been I was looking we you, love that. I was looking up the um the application online on my phone as soon as you mentioned the website. I was like, <laughs> listening to you, I'm like, oh okay, we're gonna do this. So what are the eligibility is? Do you have to have a hundred or less? Yes. So what if there's just one person in the company? That's fine. Okay. Um and I think the, the key part we get this question a lot. Well, how are we gonna compete against a company that has a hundred employees? Right. Um and I think what Joy said is exactly right. Tell your story. Um, that is really the central part of the application. Um, we work with a, you know, a third-party company that does all of the evaluations, so it's not Comcast selecting the winners. Um, but telling your story is really the critical part of how okay. you know the evaluation process. Okay. So any any cheat suggestions that you would have? Ladies and gentlemen, keys to success. Keys to success. I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna give it to you. Tell me what's the, the back door. <laughs> well, hang on, just so you can. <laughs> Right. I got you. This is why she executes well, an excellence, and I just say stuff all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone in this room She's actually so exemplifies kind of what to, do, what you know, how you know, the power of this. It's the, it's your story, but it's also your commitment to the community, 
and it's what you're doing from a you know diversity, equity, and inclusion perspective. Those are key parts of what you know what are looked at in terms of the application. How many applicants do you guys get? What really depends that? by city, so we won't know. Okay. Um, you know, we're trying to spread the word so we can drive applications. That's why we're partnering with the chamber. Um, we have a number of community partners that we're working with um, across Richmond. Um, but you know, it's a you know great opportunity, um, and we hope that you know all the small businesses in Richmond that are eligible will apply. Yeah. So I'd love to go back to the whole community impact because Joy, you've done that with the community, right? Especially your family. Like you started out, your business is a family business, right. but you impact the community. The Chesterfield Chamber impacts the community. So all of these businesses, like, okay, I'm going to put a plug. I'm going to get onto my soapbox real quick. Okay, but right. It's important. Mike does this all the time. Adriana does this with the, the Latino community. Michelle does it with grants and stuff like that. These are individuals who pour into their community. Brooke does that, right? So all of these businesses are doing that. Why do they do that? It, yes, it is a selfless act. But when you pour into your community, your community then gives back to you, and it comes back tenfold, maybe not necessarily from the person you poured into, but somebody else as well, too. So it's super important for businesses. You guys are doing that. You're pouring into our community, mm -hmm. allowing 100 businesses to get resources that may, maybe they're not, mm -hmm. they wouldn't have received otherwise or may have gone through a more arduous process to get to. Yeah. But you're making it simple for them to do it. Yeah, and that's exactly right. And I think what we realized during the pandemic was just the need yes. specifically of small businesses around the country yeah. um, and just how critical small business are small businesses are to yeah. you know the, the backbone community. of the community. Absolutely. So it's so important. Um, and so that was really the impetus of creating the program. So love that. we want to continue to get to give back. <laughs> yeah. And small businesses, like you said, like they're going to go and look at that and like, well, why why am I eligible for this when there's a business who has 100 employees, 200, 300 employees? But really, it's those small businesses, the one to two, the, the five employees, the 10 employees that really can mm -hmm. benefit from this and gives them an opportunity to be eligible for it. So. Exactly. And I think one of the, um, we are, you know, Comcast is a part of the community. So one of our differentiators as well is that we have, you know, we work here, we live here. Um, and so we want to continue to, um, you know, invest in our local communities. You know, yeah. what's those saying for RBA? Live, what's work, live, work, and play. Live, yeah. work, and play. All right, and, and love now, where you live. I want to answer um, on behalf of whoever entrepreneurs agree with me when you say, "Why should I apply? What chance do I have mm -hmm. against other more polished, more?" Because you matter. Yes, that's right. Because love you that. are mm -hmm. worth it. Yes, mm -hmm. right. Absolutely. Right. And you will learn the process just like um, the, um, the chamber shared. It's a, it will be a great learning process in looking at what a grant looked like. I funded 2020 during the pandemic, all with grant writing, because everyone was shut down. Yeah. $67,000 raised in 2020 with grant writing. Mm -hmm. You are worth it. You mm -hmm. can do it. Don't be don't be scared. Don't be scared. <laughs> Joy B. Moore you telling you. help, you reach out to Joy. That's or, right. Or they no, just reach, reach, out to, reach out to Comcast oh, Ride. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I meant writing the application. Right. Bad question. Can you just charge for the ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, so ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We'd like to thank everyone for coming. Like I said, the studio is, is on oh, fire. Hello. Christy Fox, <laughs> welcome. Really thank you for yeah. coming in. This program is phenomenal. Welcome just, to the Madhouse, which it is right it. here. It's so what we I'm do sorry, every day. So we'd like to thank so I Adriana Duarte, Adriana. Duarte Adriana. otherwise yeah. known as Jersey. Yeah, sure Shout out to my man K.O. with Core Mortgage is out there. Brooke Hall. Okay. <laughs> Where is K.O.? I'm like, that's Brooke, what I'm okay. <laughs> Jawanda Smith, Karen Webb from the world yeah. famous Chesterfield Chamber of Commerce. My man Philip Noel, he, he is the content king right there. Yeah. If you need some marketing services, make sure you check him out. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he's out there doing some big things. We're doing so. We, me and him, we're just down in Brunswick. We're mm -hmm. doing be more. A lot of big things happening in Brunswick. So mm -hmm. shout out to good folks down in Brunswick mm -hmm. County. <laughs> shout out to my Honestly. team, Liz. Yes. Why is everybody on this Facebook? They look at me. They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you put us I together, Lord have mercy. So, all right, folks, uh, make sure you take care of sponsors and advertisers because I always say uh, the microphone ain't free, plus my grandkids need stuff. Sponsor Michael Mike. Sponsor Michael Mike. Sponsor Michael Mike. My name is Isabella, and you're listening to Mike King's Big Hubby. That's my scam.
On the mic with Mike. Uh, on the mic with Mike. On the mic with Mike. On the mic with Mike. I'm on the mic with Mike. He's like a guru. No, he's a businessman with a great radio show. <laughs> and he supports the non-profits. Watch his show and grow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I don't get to play this very much anymore because my friend, they moved on. They moved up like George and Wheezy to a, you know, a, a big apartment in the sky, but. Oye, Adriana. Oye, Víctor, ¿qué pasó? Dile por qué estamos aquí. Prepárate para una dosis de inspiración y conexión comunitaria en todo latino con Adriana y Víctor. Parte de Mike King Biz Radio, escuchado en ESPN Richmond 106.1 FM. De entrevistas con emprendedores apasionados a conversaciones con líderes comunitarios, exploremos juntos las historias detrás de los servicios y negocios que están haciendo la diferencia. Conéctate con la, las oportunidades, descubre recursos valiosos. Conoce las noticias, eventos y temas que nos afectan directamente de quienes viven y respiran nuestra comunidad. ¿Y qué más? Y en todo latino, encuentre un espacio donde nuestra voz, nuestra historia, realmente importa. Historias auténticas. Thank you. I don't know why she got that much time. Everybody else she is going to right 30 seconds. That's what she got a whole, 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 whole TV show. <laughs> oh, no, Mike, Mike, we got to go. Thanks. Now, take care. Uh, Mr. Phil, could you yes, hit the You were on the panel with uh, uh, Hit Hit Center. Oh, Hit Center. Yeah, last night. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, was like, um, oh, my God. It was great. Oh, Dad. Oh, Dad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Dad was talking about oh, last night. Oh, what is this? This one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Ye